Good morning. It's 5 a.m. I'm drinking coffee and I'm here to show you how to disable the GPS tracking on your cell phones. First off, I gotta set some groundwork like I always do on my videos from my point of view. And I gotta tell you, this is one area where I feel you know the gap widening and widening and how disconnected, no pun intended, I feel from my culture and its use of cell phones. What I see happening is a cage is being built. In this case it's an electronic cage. But all of this technology is uh, being used or can be easily adapted to track people. That's what I think it's all about. I, I don't care, you know, right now they're talking about how stores are tracking people and their buying habits and they're tracking people online. Google's famous for this. Phones, you can track every single person on the face of the planet. And I really think what's behind the government is the want to be God. They want to know where everybody is all the time and what they're doing. And I just don't want to partake in that. I'm not buying into that. It's not important to me. So let's look at this from my point of view. When I do buy a cell phone, when I want to use this kind of technology, it is mainly for my convenience. It is for my convenience to make a phone call when I want to. A cell phone is not a leash for other people to get a hold of me whenever they want to. And it's funny because I clash with the culture on that one too. Sometimes somebody will leave me a, uh, a message and I won't get to it for a couple of days. Sometimes I don't turn my cell phone on. And this individual will be irritated by that, which never works out well with me. But, uh, you know, I'm not, the cell phone is not a leash for other people just to instantly get a hold of me. It's a convenience for me. That's why I purchase it. When I go to buy a cell phone, I buy the most basic, cheapest one I can get. The only thing I'm looking for is durability. But other than that, I want the cheapest and most basic one I can get. I don't buy the newest fangled one. In fact, this one I've had for close to 10 years. Uh, this one is probably five or six years old. This one I just bought recently. But as you can see, these are very basic models. It cracks me up when I see preppers talking about cell phones and you know trying to buy uh, the, the most fandangled one and get all the apps on it I <laughs> I can't even relate uh, it really pisses me off when I see people on welfare whether they're collecting food stamps uh, from my tax dollars or not buying cell phones so I go from laughing to you know pissed off about this whole cell phone deal now I'm not on welfare I buy the cheapest phone I can get. I do own several different cell phones, obviously, and there's a lot of reasons why I do that, but I'll try to give you the top reasons. Number one, uh, they're on different providers. So in an emergency, if providers go down or I'm traveling, going somewhere, and you know one provider doesn't have good coverage in that area, I have other providers to choose from. It's kind of a nice luxury. And second, I like prepaid cell phones. I like the uh, the amount of privacy that they give me, uh, and depending on you know one cell phone I might use just strictly for business, the other one I might use strictly for uh, personal use. So that's probably the two top reasons I have several cell phones. Lastly, I want to make a statement on why I would disconnect the GPS on my cell phone because I think uh, one of the things among the many that has hurt the prepping culture is the amount of paranoia and fear that it projects. In no way do I think that I am important enough for the government to track. You know, I'm not doing anything uh, that they would track me for in the first place. I don't think I'm a secret agent. I don't think I'm living a double life underground. I don't think that they're watching me and there's a G-man outside all the time. And, uh, that is, unfortunately, the picture that uh, the prepping community paints in a lot of segments of it. I think the word OPSEC is the most overused word in prepping, period. And it's, it's laughable how many people... I, I blame Jim Rawls on this foremost uh, for making OPSEC almost a joke. Anybody on the Internet is not practicing OPSEC. 
anybody with a cell phone is not practicing OPSEC. You're not living a secret life. It's so stupid, it drives me crazy. OPSEC to me is not giving your social security number away, your credit card numbers away, your date of birth, uh, when you're going on vacation. Those are, that's good, real practiced OPSEC. Otherwise, if you're on YouTube, and I, I used to say this four years ago, people were on YouTube talking about practicing OPSEC. If you're on YouTube, which has been proven now, uh, you're not practicing OPSEC. You're living in some uh, secret agent world where you think you're hiding. You know, the government knows, you know, they've, they've, it's all been blown now. They've been listening to your phone calls if they want to. They've been watching your emails if they want to. Uh, they've got programs that can even activate the phones um, that you're carrying, the cameras on them, the microphones on your computers, everything. Okay, guys, you're not practicing the secret agent OPSEC by being online listening to this right now. Bottom line is, I don't think I'm that important. Anyway, even if they do bother to listen, I'm not that important. However, from my point of view, from my both faith-based Christian point of view and the way that I th see things happening, I see an electronic cage being built. And right now, this may seem totally innocent, but the day may come when they may slam the gate on that cage. And I want the information, I want the skill, I want to be able to disconnect these things because I want to protect my privacy. There may come a day when I may not want the government to, uh, to take away my rights to privacy. And I want to know and understand how this technology works to be able to disconnect it when I want to. I also even take this into other parts of my life. For example, it's just another reason why I do not buy modern vehicles. I don't want OnStar or black box technology. All right, having said all that, let's get down to the meat of this. This cell phone still has its GPS device in it. Most of the time I have found, at least with these uh, flip phones, that the GPS device is up uh, by the screen. So you take out usually your four or two screws, which I have here. I've done that already. I don't have to show you that. And then they have uh, some clips. You can disconnect the back. Now, here's the tricky part. How do you find the GPS tab on the phone? All right. Now, pay attention here. This is very difficult. <clears throat> Look on the electronics, and you'll see it says GPS. Echo makes most of the GPS's for uh, the cell phones and you'll actually see on there GPS and it'll give a serial number for it. Now you can easily disable the GPS device on your phone and I would recommend taking the battery out of this beforehand just by putting tin foil around it but making sure it's not touching the circuit board of the actual cell phone. In this case, it's just plastic underneath. But to be honest with you, what I usually do is just lift it, lift the tab up, take some scissors, and take the tab off completely. I don't need the GPS device on my phone. They sell these GPS-enabled uh, devices, whether it's a cell phone or your vehicle, always as a safety device. Uh, it's amazing in this safety-obsessed culture uh, how many people, obviously, I, um, it's out of my control. I don't worry about it, but I don't want to be part of it. Uh, how many people are willing to sacrifice their liberty um, for any amount of safety? It's like safety is paramount. They've brainwashed everyone that safety is paramount above everything else in fact they will kill you for your safety if they have to I can live without these uh, safety devices put it back on put your screws back in and your cell phone will work fine Anyway, that uh, pretty much concludes my commentary 
an instructional video on how to disable the GPS on your cell phone. Uh, every one that I've ever opened up has a clearly marked tab on there and you can disable it by either wrapping it in tin foil as a temporary measure or you can cut the damn thing off like I did and get it over with. But uh, you know I don't think I have anything to worry about right now but there may come a day when this information uh, could be useful and I just want to keep up on it. So I'm sharing with you as well. See you later.